The spirits will honor your sacrifice. <laughs>
shit, man. That's a pretty crazy mask, dude. All right, dude, I'm, I'm just trying to like go home when they get by. Excuse me. Dude, stop. <coughs> stop. <coughs> Hey there, what can I do for you? Can you process color film? Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, probably the only one within 15 miles that can process this stuff. <laughs> what about really ancient negatives? Uh, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. I have several classic old time negatives that I would love to reprint. Yeah, that, uh, that should be fun. Reprint? You lost the originals? Well, my ex stole them. All of them. Your ex? So, how long are you? Uh, excuse me? Um, to get these prints? Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, uh, an, an hour, three max, maybe. Um, you would make such a nice painting. Anyways, I think that's about it for now. Yeah, uh, uh, name and uh, phone number? Audrey Mel. Uh, phone? You know, I don't normally give my phone number out to just any guy. You can't be too careful these days. But for you, I'll write it down. Thanks. Uh, you know, you don't really see a lot of people uh, using this these days. It's not for me. It's for my mom. I use the cloud a cloud <laughs> uh, you know uh, i have a cloud account too <laughs> i'm sure you do have a nice day are now turning to the public for assistance. The body found behind Freewood Elementary School was decapitated and still has not yet been identified. Deputy, do you care to comment? This is a horrible crime. The local authorities are asking anyone with any information, please come forward. So you're stumped? No, we're not stumped. Just more concerned. It's a little hard identifying your body. 
body without certain factors. Such as? Well, our victim is male, 40s. He was found with both of his arms broken and bent backwards. And it's hard to identify without um, any dental records or fingerprints. So do you think this could be related to the incident that occurred in Madison County about a month ago? No, although it was a heinous crime, their victim wasn't decapitated, so we have no reason to believe that they're related. Thank you, Deputy. If anyone has any information, please come forward to the local authorities. Thank you. And back to you, Mike. All right, that was Kenny with the news. So with that being said, guys, stay safe, lock your doors, and enjoy the rest of the movie. So close to finishing the Origins Easter egg, and all you had to do was revive me, because, I mean, I had the ray gun. Well, whose fault do you think that is? If you had the ray gun, maybe you should have not even gone down in the first place? Dude, just forget it. And why are we even here? I mean, this place is already fucking creepy. Correction, fucking badass. You know what this is? This is a dino dig. I hear all that? Looks like a big pile of shit. You would know, man. Oh my god. Why a dino dig? Because it's cool. They dug up dinosaurs, giant lizards. We could be anywhere else and you want to see the dinosaurs. Yeah, because dinosaurs are fucking cool. Craig. Okay, okay. We will be here a couple of minutes and then we're out of here, okay? Right. Works for me. Now just give me a minute. It's a little hot out here, man. I'll give you that. Yeah, that's why I told us to stop. Oh, Genius. Uh, Who the fuck is that? What in the hell? Hey, it's a little early for Halloween, creep. Uh, hey, what? man, you can what's the grim stay the fuck back there. Uh, I think that's good enough. What the fuck is he wearing? Whoa, whoa, whoa hey, hey. <gasps> ah! And how are we doing today, Ezra? Uh, hey, Dr. Riley. Um, I'm, uh, I'm not bad, honestly. I'm taking your word on that. What about your lithium? What about it? Relax, it's, I'm just asking if, have you been taking it? Of course I've been taking it, why wouldn't I? Hey, I'm just doing my job. Is it helping you? I mean, it depends on your definition of help. You know, if the lithium isn't working. Hey, 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 who said it wasn't working, Doc? Is it helping you or not? Yes, it's helping. Good. That's all I need to know. Hey, wait, what, what are you doing? I'm just writing a note that you have been compliant with the lithium. 
I mean, I am. And sometimes I take like three pills at once. It works. What? What? Ezra, I'm just writing a note that you've been following all the steps and now you're telling me that you have been misusing medication. Hey, I've not been misusing it. Define sometimes for me. I don't know, like, maybe once or twice, three or four times a month. Do I need to stop filling your medication for lithium? No, no, please, no. Because if I do, I mean, I know it's working for you, but if, if not, I think you would really hate for me to stop no, it. No, no, look, look. I promise, okay? How is this relationship supposed to work when you're not following my simple directions? What? Once in the morning, once in the evening. That's two. Two pills, Ezra. I understand. I, I promise. Do you? Because based on your behavior, I don't think that you are listening to what I'm saying. I am, Doc. Listen, I, I promise you. I... Do you? Yes. Promise what? I'll take the medication as directed. Two pills a day. <sighs> okay. I'll believe you. Now, how's your sister? Have you been seeing her ever since... Hey, what I, happened what? I, I can't hear you. I think your as connection, it's, it's shit. Hey, I, 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 I'll this. have to call you back. Are you the owner? I am. Hey, what can I do for you, man? Hi, I'm Reverend David Falks, and I think there's some film inside here. The winding knob still has some tension on it, but it won't advance. Let's take a look at it, see what you got there. Oh, wow, a Roloflex. It's yeah. in pristine condition. Yeah, I uh, ran across it in this suitcase that I guess I'd forgotten about, and... I kind of was just hoping that you could develop the film that's inside. Uh, yeah, man, absolutely. Uh, you want to sell it? Uh, you know, I don't think I should until I figure out who the owner is. Well, yeah, I'd say so. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, how about no charge if you let me solve the mystery and you consider selling me the camera? You know what? As long as uh, we can't find the owner, then... That sounds good, because I just ran across it, and to be honest, I really don't know a lot about these things. My, my wife is out right now, but oh, she's really? too young to... Uh... Anyway, the suitcase popped open, and I kind of was just looking for somebody to help me figure these things out. Uh, yeah, uh, if you want to just uh, leave it here, I'll take care sure. of it for you. Um, if you don't mind, just uh, sign that. Do you need my license or anything like that? Mm, well, I suppose since the camera is valuable, it couldn't hurt. Sure. All right. Uh, I'll make a copy of this if you want to swing back and maybe pick it up later. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Yeah. You have a good day. You as well.
Hello to you too. <sighs> Sit down. These are nice, are they new? What do you want, McKenna? I'm worried about you, Ezra. So is mom. No one has heard or seen from you in a week. Look around you, there's not really a whole lot of cell phone service. Yeah, but Dr. Riley says that you haven't been returning her calls. You talked to my doctor? Well, mom did. Like I heard about those people on the news, what happened? Well, that's actually why I'm here. I'm on my way up there to the site right now, and I wanted to make sure that you're alive. Why isn't Mom on the case? She's the sheriff. Well, Mom's upset on a different case, so it's my case now. Do you guys put out a curfew? 10 p.m. Anyway, Ezra, just be a little better at communicating, okay? I got a lot on my plate. You've been a real peach, sis. Like I said, I have work to do. I gotta get to the site. Hey, McKenna, wait. Damn it. What the fuck? I don't see how that's relevant, Doc. It, it isn't. I was just curious. I had a sandwich. Oh. How was your, uh, sandwich? <laughs> You're so funny. You know, uh... If you're going to leave me like you did on the phone last time and you're going to be the funny guy, then that's the best you're going to get. Do you do birthday parties as well? Sadly, no. Anything going on? Other than a couple of new customers coming in, uh, nothing really. Oh, well, you know, now that you mention it, uh, I, uh, I did have someone come in with a Rolleiflex. A roll of what? A roll of flex. So, you, like, basically you have this camera, and it's an old one. That, you know, they used to manufacture them back in... It, it, never mind. You... Sorry I asked. It's just a lot to explain. And I only have a degree in medicine and psychology. <sighs> you know, now that you mention that... I... I said, I think you can explain it to me. Uh, well, it doesn't matter, but I did have this one really weird customer come in today. Weird? Weird as in wearing a trench coat in the middle of the summer weird? No, he was just... Strange. Hmm. Well, strange. That is an incredibly vague description. So now I know exactly what he's like. Thank you. Thank you for that very specific description. Ah! <laughs> 
I got a laugh out of Mr. Clint Eastwood himself. Uh, well, you know, things could be worse, Doc. <laughs> well, I'm sure you are just fine. And look, it's about time we have to go. But do you think this time we could have a formal goodbye? I thought our uh, goodbye last time was uh, rather pleasant. Well, listen, um, you can joke all you want, but I get paid either way. Well, it must be nice. It is. Sometimes. Listen, Ezra, take your meds. Okay? I will. Please. Thanks, Doc. Thank Bye. Bye. Ugh. <sighs> Jones Digital. Hello? Hello? I'm going to hell for this. Hello? Sorry, but I'm not out there. How did you... I have my ways. Besides, you didn't think I knew you were watching me. How'd you know I was out there taking pictures? It's pretty dark. I've seen you several times. What do you photograph at night? Oh, you know, the occasional deer, owls, or bobcats. Sometimes a couple going on a romantic stroll to the park, but you are my first bathrobe beauty. Did you look at them? Uh, not really. I've trained myself not to notice other people's pictures. So, do you want me? <laughs> now, now. Small towns don't appreciate such confessions. It gets around. I'll come by soon. You mean come by for the photos? You're a coward. The fuck? Jeez.
Oh, Reverend, hey, uh, sorry I haven't been able to uh, get your uh, your film processed yet. won't be done for at least until tomorrow. I came for the other role. Other role? Yeah, my wife sent me to pick it up. Uh, who's your wife? Audrey Mills. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, she didn't list you on her processing slip, so I don't know if I can... Here's your ticket. Yeah, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that, that, that works. You can charge it, but I don't want to know. I can't imagine what would possess her to develop a random roll of film that she just happened to run across. Run across? Yeah, she's been uh, collecting these random things here and there ever since she was abandoned by her mother. Wait, I thought this was her mother's film. No, oh, we have no idea who her mother is. Those records were all sealed when she entered the orphanage. <sighs> you know, I never understood why she wasn't adopted. She must have been a beautiful child. I mean, <laughs> you've seen her. Uh, yeah, your wife is uh, quite memorable. And very Christian. Oh, she prays multiple times a day. You know, when she first came into my church service, I couldn't help but... Sorry, I'm just so impressed by her religious strength. <laughs> well, uh, um, you know, it's, uh, 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 that's quite the thing. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll go get those for you. How'd they turn out? Turn out? Well, I, I try to make a habit not to snoop, you know. They, uh, they were all kind of out of focus, so uh, based on what I've seen. I see. Uh, you know, when I came off that printing press, you know, uh, the next ones, they were... They were just clear as a bell, you know, so. You know, I never understood that expression. Clear as a bell. That's about sound, not sight. <laughs> oh, well, I guess you got me there. Uh, yeah, I'll grab those for you real quick and, uh, and be on your way. Great. Not a problem. Mm. Here you are. Thanks. You know this, uh, this film thing? It's just another one of her bizarre impulses. Yeah. Have a good day, Reverend.
Yo, yo everyone. So, at first I thought it was just, I thought it was bullshit, okay? These stories, they just made up to scare people, but these things, they are real, okay? They, uh, they change what they look like when they attack. It's like, I don't know. It's customary to like leave something behind, like they could be a rock. Hey, hey, I mean, sorry, I'm recording in here. Thank you. It's like, it's like, um, it could be a rock or something like, look at this, look at this, look at this. They could be that, right? They could be one of these rocks or something. I don't know. I don't know. They could leave, um, like a totem behind, a raven's feather or something like that. Uh, it's like the messenger of death. Be careful. And in exchange for your generous donation, I'll personally see to it that your enemies accidentally have both their kneecaps broken. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We interrupt tonight's broadcast for a special news alert. With more on this, we go live to Kenny. Police in Grover County are now reporting that another body has been located. I'm here with Deputy McKenna. Deputy? Yes. The coroner says that the victim was found this evening around 945. Um, we are not disclosing any other information. We just please ask you to adhere to the curfew at 9. saw me, but gotta create a diversion. Going that way. Okay, I found it. It's right there reflecting in the pool. I can't be the only one who can see it, right? Look! right there that's the reflection of a skinwalker those paintings were seen across the United States over and over again look after all this time it has to mean something it has to oh no Jones Digital, how can I help you? Did you get my pictures developed? 
What? What about my pictures? Look, the Reverend picked them up yesterday. Why would he pick up my film? You mean your mother's film, right? I just said that. He has no business following me. Look, I don't know. He's your husband. Take it up with him. My husband? Is that what he said? He had your processing slip. Besides, aren't you two living in that apartment across the street? No. I'd never let him come inside. I didn't know you were married. I need an excuse. The Reverend is always prying into my affairs. Yeah, I'm beginning to understand. Now that he has the film and the prints, he's a suspect. You know. Suspect? Wait, what do you mean by- They think he's... Well... Never mind. <laughs> I'm not supposed to talk about it. Forget it. Just go back to watching your YouTube videos. Hey, wait, no! Damn it. Fuck this. Hello? Oh shit, I didn't think this would work so fast. Um... Are you Ezra? Yeah, I am. Do I, do I know you? Uh, not quite. My name's Robbie Russo. Uh, you emailed my brother Brandon a couple days ago? Uh, yeah, um, is, is he available? Unfortunately not, man. Uh, in fact, I was reaching out to see if you'd heard from Brandon lately. No, that's, uh, that's, that's why I emailed him. It looks like, um, looks like you two guys were looking into Native American entities, is that correct? Yeah, I was, uh, doing some, some research. So, uh, what, what's going on? What is it? Uh, it's... It's, it's a lot to explain. Look, there's just, uh... 
I was going through a rough patch, uh, but uh, listen, is everything okay with your brother? Uh, so I'm, I'm sorry to hear you're going through a rough time, man. Um, you know, your email did seem urgent, uh, but I'm glad you, you reached out because uh, Brandon's been actually, he's actually been missing for about the last 48 hours. So um, I brought up his vlog that he was doing to the police, but they didn't really seem to think much of it. I'm 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 sorry to hear that. Uh, any, any? Yeah, it's not your fault, man. Any ideas? So, no. I mean, Brandon was, you know, he's always known as, uh, I don't know, what's the word? Let's, let's call it stubborn. Um, <laughs> to be honest, you know, I'd give anything to put up with a stubborn ass right now. Um, <clears throat> I guess that's the funny thing about family, right? Um, who knew you could uh, love and hate someone so much at the same time? Yeah, well, uh, listen, uh, Rob, I, I hope you find your brother. I appreciate that, Ezra. Um, is there, is there anything, to, anything? Nobody you can trust. Who's on the Damn computer. Can you hear me? You're kind of cutting out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, sorry about that. Is it, but it, anything you can tell me from about your brother? Um, you know he's not always the most pertinent guy, but you know I I would have expected to have heard from him recently. Um, we are fairly close, so. Well, uh, thanks for your time, man. Uh, I I, I hope hope you find him. I appreciate that. Um, you know, if if you do hear from him, could you could you reach out? And let me know. Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely, uh, for sure. No, no problem. I will I will definitely let you know. And uh, I, if I hear anything else, you know, about what we were discussing, I will I'll, I'll let you know. Perfect. Thanks for everything, Ezra. Hey, thanks. Reverend, hey, what can I do for you? Afternoon. Has my wife been by here? Your wife? Uh, no. What? No. <laughs> Strange. Uh, she doesn't have a car, so I know she hasn't left town, and she hasn't been back to the apartment. Do you have any ideas? Me? I've only met her once when she dropped off the slip. <laughs> That's right. I'm sorry. Um, how did the mystery film turn out? 
sorry. It was it was no good. Damaged, unusable. So. Okay. Um, can I see it? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, I was thinking if you want to sell, I would give you three fifty. No. For <laughs> Dingus, the film. I want the film. Um, sure, but I mean, look, it, it's no good. It's used, and you know, it's you can't use it. Well, isn't it customary to return the film? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just uh, give me a minute, okay? Okay. Uh, here you go. Thanks. You cut it. I, I have to cut it. It's the only way it fits in the enlarger. Well, you're the expert, I guess. You know what? I do want to sell the camera, provided there's no way to find its owner. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I'd, I'd love to have it. It's uh, it's beautiful. How much are you thinking? How about three fifty? Mm. Well, it is in better condition than I thought. And well, you drive a hard bargain, but three fifty sounds good. Fifty. There you go. Thanks. No receipt. Uh, and the serial numbers. I mean, it can't be tracked. So if it ever had a previous owner, you know, we're all filed off, and somebody's already tried to get in with a screwdriver. So there's really nothing that I can write for it. Joking already? You know, I told you I'm not CPR certified. Yes, uh, I guess I'll just die then. Oh. Hey, thought I just lost you for a second. No, I'm sorry. You okay? Yeah, just. A lot on your mind? A lot, yeah. Such as? You remember that guy I was telling you about that came into my shop? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, he came back and he was demanding for something, but it was something I didn't have. That's weird. Yeah, I know. It's like, I don't know, in a way I kind of felt sorry for the guy. I don't know. Well, did you feel threatened by him or anything? No, like I said, just I felt sorry for him. It's because you're a good person, Ezra. Thank you. I mean that. You know, if you ever feel like someone's overstepping your boundaries, don't be afraid to speak up. Okay? Okay. I used to let people push me around. But you know, when I started setting specific visual boundaries, that's when people started respecting me more. 
Well, trust me, I'm I'm respected. Uh, ones who think they're being respected are ignorant of those who do not respect them at all. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. I don't worry about me. I'll I'll speak up. Mm -hmm. Look, at the end of the day, it's it doesn't really matter. You know, you can't please everyone. That's true, especially working with the public. Just be mindful of others and their intentions. That's all. I'll do my best. Good. Okay, so... Uh, you're still taking lithium two times a day, right? Yes. Good. We're going to keep you on the lithium and just adjust as needed. Okay. That means no experimenting with it like you were before. Got it? I promise. Well, then that's great. I'll talk to you in a few months, okay? Um, three months, call me, and uh, look... Just take care of yourself, Ezra, okay? You too, Doc. Thanks. Okay. Bye.
Salakianos Vabrakatum Inosalakianos Vabrakatum Inosalakianos Vabrakatum is it my grandfather used to tell stories about this to us it's a sign of dark magic dark practitioners magic believe me or not you came here for a reason yeah you want my advice leave town these are dark spirits things that you're not capable to fight. <laughs> I don't know, the, like this guy, he was like, he was praying to this thing. It was like this, this statue. He was, he was making some kind of... A dark witch. These people, they behead or otherwise sacrifice victims to gain a portion of their abilities. And the feather I found at the house, and I found that one at the dig site, the archaeological dig. It was supposed to be buried on some kind of an old uh, uh, Indian burial graveyard. Ground. Yeah. This is dark magic. You are not equipped to fight this. Run. Get away. My people won't even mess with this stuff. You don't need to be here. What do I do if it comes back? I can't just leave town, Desi. You have to try. You're not equipped. But in the meantime, you can take this. It will help protect you. Wear it, always, until you can get far away. Thanks. Early. Look, I, I know, I know, this, the lithium isn't working, Doc. Uh, well, what's going on? I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm seeing things again. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm, in my sleep, I was, I was attacked by something. Are you having sleep paralysis again? Yes, yes, and, uh, yes, just yes. You're still taking one pill twice a day, correct? I went up to three pills. Ezra, what did I tell you? Look, I know, but... This Don't is... do that. Listen, I told you what the effects of lithium are. It is toxic. It is far worse for you to take too much than not enough. I guess you were right, because I'm, I'm seeing things, and I, 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 I my sleep paralysis, and I, I, I hear things. I, I'm hearing the voices again. Are you seeing more shadow people? Yeah, but this time it was, it was different. It was a, a lady. She attacked me in my sleep. Have you been on the reservation? I went out there to take some photos. Let me tell you something. I've been listening to the news and those murders are, are getting out of hand. I mean, but, but people are just jumping to delusions. Listen, I'm going to put you on a nighttime set, but only before bed. Don't take it whenever. The lithium is in the morning and at night. Understood? I understand. And, uh, what about...
about the voices? Are you still hearing voices? Some whispers, but I, I can't make out any words. Well, sounds like we're making progress on that. Have you been losing or hiding anything like objects or keys or cameras? No, not since last year. And that Adderall didn't work at all. Look, I'm filling out one of the prescriptions for that right now, okay? I want you to pick it up today and take it. And you have a tremendous amount of anxiety right now. I wonder why. Listen, Ezra, I know there's a lot of things going on. I want you to just stay calm, trust your gut, okay? And just... And just... Don't let anyone take advantage of you, all right? Just trust yourself, okay? Okay. Thank you, Doc. Okay. Uh. question about this film? Uh, sure. Uh, come on back. We'll see what we can do for you. Uh, yeah, just have a seat right there. <sighs> All right. What can I do for you, Reverend? The film. One of the slides is cut. Oh, yeah, well, I told you I had to cut it because of the enlarger. No, no. One of the photos is cut. Well, it was probably just a, a duplicate, you know, where they come off the press. Okay. I want it. Well, I'll have to see. I might have already thrown it away. It's my property! I want it. just want the photos back. I'll see if I can find it, okay? There's no need to get upset. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Now, um, should I expect your wife to pick that up? Does that matter? No, I suppose it doesn't. Well, that's all I needed. You have a great rest of your day.
Can I help you, sir? Uh, yeah, I need to uh, speak with Reverend David Falks. I'll see if he's available. Make yourself comfortable. I'll be right back. Thank you. Excuse me. You needed to speak with me? I needed to speak with David Falks. I'm sorry? I'm Minister David Falks. I've been here at St. Mildred for the past five years. No, no, no. You're not David Falks. David Falks, he's married to Audrey. He came into my store three days ago. Son, are you feeling okay? All right, enough with the head games, old man. Where is he? I am David Falks. Where is he? Son, put the gun down. Let me see some ID, old man. That's strange. What? M my ID. It's gone. This man, that man right there, that's David Falks. I don't know who he is. Right there, why does it say Donnie? That's David Falks, is that short for David? I promise, I don't know who that is. He's just a janitor who works here. Janitor? A janitor? Hey, McKenna, listen, I need you to call me as soon as you get this. I need you to meet me at 124 Sycamore Street, okay? 124 Sycamore, call me as soon as you get this. You know, I don't really give my phone number out to just any guy. Wait.
You violated sacred ground. The burial land of the spirits. Inusa Laki Anus. Hey, asshole. I know what you did. My mom's the sheriff. Inusa Laki Anus. Vabrakatum. Inusa Laki Anus. Vabrakatum. Hey, her husband, he's going to know. You've been chosen. The spirits will honor your sacrifice. Sacrifice? Wait, wait.
Should not 